Good afternoon, everyone. This is Nancy Heron, and I'm speaking to you from Louisiana State University in Baton Rouge, where Marshall and I met over 30 years ago. It's hard to believe that it has been 30 years since Marshall and I uh, first met, but uh, it's been a friendship that I have treasured all of this time. Marshall is someone who does not just talk the talk, he definitely walks the walk. Um, he doesn't complain about uh, about our um, our presence in the world and how it could be better. He's the guy who, who enlisted and picked up a rifle and stood watch. Uh, he is not just someone who looks around at his community and says things should be better with you know fists of rage to the sky. He's the guy who served as servant leader and who acted rather than just spoke and complained. Um, he is the person who I know if I were to call him up today would be there for me in a flash, just like he will be for the people of West Virginia. Uh, he is hardworking, he's energetic, he's passionate beyond belief, uh, and definitely one of the top 10 people in my life who I respect and love and miss terribly. I wish I could have more time to see him uh, because his energy is infectious and he is one of the more brilliant people that I know. Marshall, I know you are going to make a great governor, and I hope that the people of West Virginia uh, recognize that and vote you in really quickly, because I think this country needs more people like you in public service. And so thank you for your service to your country, and to uh, here's to the future of West Virginia and all that I know that you will do for her. I love you, buddy. I'll see you.